What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Darksiders War Mastered Edition 100% Apocalyptic Walkthrough. And in this episode, we are going to continue with the Iron Canopy. So hopefully we'll get right up to Silitha. Um, I think we will. But yeah. So this room... This, this. So in this room... Um, I actually do pretty much all of my Tremor Gauntlet and Scythe um, leveling up. And you'll see that during the grind, um, during the grind episode that I was talking about before. Um, and yeah, so um, mostly because it's easy to reset this room because once you once you leave this room um, if you come back the spiders may or may not be there but I'll show you where to go to uh, to reset them so and you don't have to go far but um, just through that little hallway there there's an awkward pause that hallway there <coughs> um, and yeah and then it'll reset and you can just drop back down and it's great so uh, let's grab some souls there we go okay i think that's everything nope let's get these guys all right and mostly i'm just killing these to work on leveling up the scythe, so you can avoid them if you want, but I need the experience for the weapon, so it just makes sense. But anyway, you'll come up here, <coughs> excuse me, you'll come up here and you see that little glitch, not glitch, that lo it looked like it kind of uh, skipped for a second. That is the reset point, so if we were to go back in, and here's a health chest if you need it. I'm going to go ahead and get it. But if we were to go back in that room, then um, the spiderlings would reset. So when we do the grind episode, uh, I will be in and out of there like crazy. But I will use the magic of editing so you don't have to sit through a long time of that. Okay, so over here, this floor will drop. So I found that out the hard way the first time I played it second time I played it um, I didn't quite jump over it properly so I wasn't sure if you could but obviously as you've seen you can do that ow you can do it um, you just have to be careful so and if you if you drop down the floor crashes out from under you or something that's fine because we'll be going back that way anyway because we're about to get there's a health chest if you need it I'm not gonna worry about it, I'm gonna save it for later. But we're getting the Abyssal Chain, so we'll be able to go back and get that chest if you didn't get it um, the way that I did. So, the Abyssal Chain, which means after we defeat Silitha, we will do a big old roundup video. And trophy earned, reach out and touch somebody, and that is for getting the abyssal chain so abyssal chain fires a grappling chain that attaches to enemies and movable objects so yeah this is um probably the most useful item that we get in a dungeon um the crossblade was great for a while but and of course ruin but this is probably the most useful thing that we get in my opinion so be careful, because when they do that little uppity attack, um, that one right there, uh, that can do a surprising amount of damage. So be careful. Um, whoa. Ow. And, yeah. No, you don't. Do, 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 do. And kill the thing. I've never seen it go like sideways like that. There's a lot of firsts happening for me during this playthrough. That's for sure. And I'm sure it's- ow. 
I'm sure it's probably just because I'm recording because things can't ever be easy when you do that. Um, if you're anything like me. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so this is little dude number one. Little-ish dude number one. And as you can see, there are four circling that big one. So the four are for four of those little guys uh, that we just beat. And the big one... So is this going to show us uh, Abyssal Chain stuff? Um, and the big one is for the mini boss. So, and then after we beat those, that opens that lock for um, Silitha. So, hoping we can get through the Brood Mother, which is the um, mini boss <coughs> uh, in this episode. But we'll see. We'll see what kind of time we've got. Um, let's see here. Okay, so abyssal chain, booyah, and abyssal chain your way up here. It's the only way you can get up to that vine, so um, if you miss it, doing it the way that I did, that's fine. You can, you can still um, target it like that. So let's press down on the right joystick. All right, so over here, it's a couple of things. First and foremost, we are gonna get an abyssal armor piece. So, come up here, grab that. The abyssal armor piece number seven. So that's fun. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, and you don't need to. Do that. I almost did. Okay. So this can take a few times if you're anything like me. And if it takes too long, we will. And that's why. Uh, I don't know why it does that. Um, every now and then. It's like you hit something on your way over. I don't know why it does that. If it does, it's fine. Just come through, hit that. Again. Now I'm going to be paranoid. Swing across. And shadow glide and the reason for that is because of um, these things they will eat you if you don't use the, the health chest if you need it um, if they don't if you don't use the chronosphere so um, beholders key and then for these guys it's the same strategy as always just um, crossblade them and Hop across, so and you won't be eaten, so that's fun. Um, let's see here, Go ahead and set that. Okay, I always have this habit of not doing that, and then I have to go find it again. So, um, and this is what I was talking about. If you missed it, just uh, abyssal chain your way over. So. Alright, now we're back in this room, and make our way over here. So, and that little glitchy thing was what I was talking about. Drop back down, and as you can see, the little spiders are back, but we also have this guy now. So, same strategy, this will chain him to get that uh, shell, or whatever it is, off of him. Or her, I actually don't know. And the same thing as always. I have the hiccup, so I apologize for that. Okay. Sorry for that yawn. I know yawns are contagious. It's late. Because I always seem to record these when it's late at night. That's alright. Um, ouch. Nope. Stop it. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, we came in here with full health. <laughs> and he has, um, got me down to about half health. Just from those attacks. So. Um. Well, that was a waste of blade geyser. I didn't get anything. So, yeah. As you can see, your best strategy is really strike and dash. Um. When it starts moving like that, just strike, dash, 
and avoid it. Alright, so there's that. Oh, apparently you can't pick that up. Alright. And number two out of four. Or two out of five if you count the food mother. But I'm referring to the the smaller the mini mini bosses. <laughs> uh if that's if it counts. But um where is it? I'm not in the right room. It's alright. So now we're gonna go back into this room. And we've got some spiders that we can kill, which we'll go ahead and do. Um, and then we will get our champion artifact. So, yeah. And if you missed it before, um, that was interesting. Okay, so if you missed it before, there's a chest down here. But now, yay. All right, artifact number 20, I believe. Champion artifact. So, there is that. Um, and then we're back in this little area. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I thought I heard more of them. There they are. I'm yawning like crazy, I'm sorry guys. And gals. Um, Alright, drop down here. Whoa, be careful, because that thing will hurt you. It usually hits me and just knocks me down. But, yeah. And this is another room where you can get that Devastator achievement. Or, it's a good room to get that Devastator achievement. So, the only downside is you don't really have control over how many show up um, at one time. So, you, you do run the risk of having them hurt you while you wait for the others to show up, so. But, you can also get it there. There's enough of the of the spiderlings to get it there, too. So, yeah. I say that a lot, I've realized. All right. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. So much easier to shoot them with a gun than to, uh, you know, abyssal chain them. So, up here, um, over there was the, um, uh, soldier artifact. Ah, dang it. Okay, so this usually takes me a little bit, and if it gets to taking too long, if I don't get it in a couple of tries, then I will edit that out and, yeah. So, but up here are a couple of chests. Nope. Dang it! Come on. Alright, third time's a charm, right? Maybe. Hopefully. Otherwise, I'm gonna get really, uh, not happy. The opposite of happy. F. Alright, if I don't get it this time, then I will use the magic of editing and edit out all my failed attempts so oh and of course I get it <laughs> I should have threatened that the first time um, there's a soul chest a health chest and then over here I believe is the horde seeker yeah a horde seeker I hate how long that takes to pop up it's always really annoying but we've got it, so it works. And that's not where I wanted to go. I want to... Where am I going? I'm going this way. Going this way. We've got more... Spiders. To kill. I was making sure there weren't any little ones. <laughs> Alright. And... Yeah. Okay, so this is the little spider that would have eaten you um, if you didn't use the Chronomancer at the, um, or not the Chronomancer, the, uh, uh, the brick, and we knock him down. That's the room directly above us. So. Can't you spin a little web of your own? Yes. But I was giving an explanation, and now I don't remember what I was saying. So, 
Alright. Whoops. Pull this guy down. And then pull. That's not what I want. Okay. Um, and this fight's a little more difficult because we have more enemies show up. More difficult enemies, I should say, than like the little spider links. So be aware of that. Ow. I don't know why I said that. He missed me. That one didn't. That must. <laughs> that was uh, precognitive. So. Um, there we go. Uh, there we go. Ooh, that was that was lucky. That was lucky. No, I'm trying to kill your little friends first. Like, I want to kill you, but they will kill me if I don't kill them first. Um. No. Stop it. Alright. There we go. There we go. Alright. B move that guy. Circle move. I'm trying to get out of the habit of calling it a B move on the PlayStation. So there is number three out of four. And, or three out of five, if you count the broodmother. And now, we are going this way. Okay. Up, up, up the elevator. And this is the room I was talking about. So, like I told you, again, you'd be in here again. Uh, sorry if you heard my dog. But, uh, shaking. But, uh... There are plenty of little spiderlings in here to get the um, Devastator achievement. So, yeah. Alrighty. And now we go make sure there's no more spiders. Um, wait. Wait, wait, wait. No. Yeah. Okay. So. This is a little door right off of the ele elevator shaft. And, oh, ha have to have the, the abyssal chain for that to work. <laughs> okay, so before we go anywhere, we are going to come over here and go get these three chests because I will forget about them. And I don't really need them for the achievement because I already got the achievement, but I am low on wrath. I can always use the souls and it doesn't hurt to get some health right now. So, all right. Now that everything is all filled up, we are good. Let's see here. We want to go back this way. Okay, I was just making sure I get turned around. Um, like I told you I would. But, uh, yeah. It's all the backtracking. It throws me off. Okay, so this is the first room we were in. And what you want to do first is hit that. You don't want to go too far into the room because it will trigger the lock on the door and force you into this fight. And then you're going to have to find your way all around. And I take forever when I try and find my way back. So, um... Yeah, just be careful and come over here and we'll get our empty vessel. Number six, I believe. Um, we got myself some rage out of empty vessel number six. And hop back down and then go back into that room. And you'll have to abyssal chain your way up, so... Let's put it right on the growth here. And then back jump. And then you're back in the room. And it's fine. So, um. Pull this sucker down. And here we go. Alrighty. Do, 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 do. What kind of time do we have? Yeah. So we actually will probably stop after we fight the brood mother, which is the mini boss, and it's ow, dick, and it's right after um, 
this fight, so it's actually right behind that locked space right there. Oh, nope. I don't know how that didn't hurt me, but that did plenty of damage, so that's okay. Good thing we have a health chest. Good thing that health chest is right here. Um. Ouch. Dang it. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. No. Okay. There we go. I don't think. Aw. I wanted to do that precision move. There we go. Alrighty. So now, grab that health chest, because we need it. And we have unlocked the. or we've gotten four out of four little guys, and now we will face off with the brood mother. So we've got plenty of time. Um. ish. Maybe. This video may be, may be a couple minutes longer than normal, but... Alrighty. So, the brood mother. Alright, and as you can see, she kind of noms on these little things. So just abyssal chain one and throw it and you have a little bit of time to do that but don't take too long because she will start the attacks so and whenever she jumps I jump and <laughs> you jump I jump Jack uh, <laughs> it, whenever she jumps I jump but I make sure to do the shadow glide back down because otherwise that shock wave will damage you so and be careful, because it is entirely possible to throw those, like, egg sack people things and, um, uh, completely miss. So, just be careful. Um, so after that, she will jump three times like that, and then she'll charge at you, like so, and then she will jump again. And this is pretty much the strategy. This is one of the easier... Uh, mini bosses. Not that any of them have been particularly difficult, but she is definitely the easiest in my opinion. So, jump, jump, and jump, and then be ready to dash. Dash out of the way, jump again, and whoa, forgot she does three there. Or two? Okay, and then here we go, and hopefully this will be the last time we have to do this. Oh, one hit. Perfect. Alrighty, so there we go. And the big lock is unlocked, and we can now go take on Silitha, which we will do in the next episode. So everyone, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will see you guys in another video.